Hey YouTube, it's Devin here, um, and today's a video about me and my channel, it's about how I got into the hobby, and the fish keeping hobby, and uh, what my experience is with it, so you guys know a little bit more about me and my fish keeping hobby, I guess. Um, um, I've had fish tanks all my life, started out with a 75 gallon angel fish tank, and that changed to a... Uh, native to North America tank with bluegills and crappies and bass and that tank was going until I was about seven or eight years old maybe a little older ten maybe nine or ten actually um, I've had my betas I've probably had half a dozen or a dozen betas or so somewhere in, in that number um, I've also owned discus as you guys can see I've got my saltwater tank um, the, the camera's not focusing in on it and making it look a little cloudy um, but the tank is actually doing really good. I'm seeing a lot of growth on all my corals, and it's looking great. Uh, water's really clear, but uh, since the camera's focusing on my face, it's not showing up very well. Um, I've done a majority of my hobby has actually been with cichlids. Um, I've done so much research and reading on cichlids. I've been working with owning cichlids for about the past six years. Um, I've worked with a local business that actually just closed down because they had their fourth child. It was a family-run business. They, were, they, run it out, they ran it out of their home. And uh, I worked with them to help maintain their tanks, sell their fish to people, advertise, marketing, and stuff like that. Went to swap meets and traveled around with them with, with them to talk to people and answer questions about their, the fish that they were interested in and sell them the fish. Um, I worked with that family for about three years. Um, I believe their website's still up. It's called Serious Cichlids. They were in their local newspaper a couple times for how um, nicely they had their setup going and how productive they were. I believe at their peak they had a little over a hundred cichlid tanks. Um, I, ha I, I gained such a wealth of knowledge from uh, that family, uh, more or less the husband. He had, he had so much knowledge that he gave to me as I worked with him. He was a really nice gentleman. And um, I learned so much with them. I've worked with so many different types of cichlids from all around the world. Madagascar, Africa, South America, Central America, hybrids, every type of cichlid. I've worked with it. I've read on it. I've owned it. I've bred it. I've... Well, maybe not Madagascar's. I I haven't personally bred, but um, Sierra Cichlids, um, the business I worked with, did breed them, and they also imported and exported fish. So they did move a lot of different types of species throughout their business. Sorry, I'm a bit congested. I haven't been feeling the greatest. Uh, that's why the videos are kind of uh, took a little while for these videos to come out. Um, I haven't been feeling the greatest, but um. They started importing and exporting fish, and uh, they had a lot of different species coming through their business, and I got the opportunity to learn a lot about these fish, experience them firsthand, take care of them, help breed them, help sell them, and understand what they are, how to take care of, take care of them. I've worked with literally almost every single type of cichlid, peacocks, haps, any type of Tanganyikan. Mount Malawi, Victorian, a bunch of South Americans and Central Americans, a couple um, cichlids from Madagascar and Asia, the Starry Night Polini, and uh, sorry the lights went out, um, wasn't even sure that was supposed to happen. I would be showing you guys my uh, 240 gallon tank, that tank is currently under construction. Um, I'm going to be going to a swap meet this month and hopefully picking up a bunch of Frontosas and other Tanganyikan cichlids. And also, I'm going to get an Arwana and redo the scape because, as you guys know, if you've watched my other videos, I'd recently gotten rid of my red tailed catfish because he killed my Arwana and he was just becoming too much of a menace and a danger to that tank. So, um, I did uh, move some stuff around in there, but I'm uh, getting off track there. But, um, Back to where I was at, um, I've worked with that, I worked with that business for th about three years. They taught me so much about this hobby, and um, I've also spent way too much time on the internet and reading. <coughs> excuse me, and reading um, 
do, uh, documents and first-hand accounts of these of many species and how to take care of them and how and pretty much everything about certain fish. Um, I've spent way too much time reading and doing. I've worked with a lot of different species of cichlids and freshwater fish. Um, I have dabbled with planted tanks. I'm not an expert there. I'm not going to lie, guys. Um, if you have any questions on that, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to say that I'm the person to go to. I would recommend some other channels like David's Aquariums and, stuff, and Corvus or Sheen. But I'm um, not, not doing a shout out here. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to lie. I'm not the best with planted tanks. I've worked with them. I've owned two. Um, but, yeah, um, I've also owned discus tanks, angelfish tanks, all all different types of cichlids from essentially every generalized area area that you can get cichlids from I've owned them or worked with them I haven't owned anything from Madagascar um, they're really hard to come by here but I have worked with them with serious cichlids they they export they um exported them through their business um, had them I guess distributed them would be a better word so um, I had the opportunity to work with them and learn about them and a whole bunch, a wide variety of different species. Like I said, they had, well, at their peak, well over 100 tanks. So um, you guys can assume that they had a wide variety of fish. So I have worked a lot with cichlids. That is what I consider my specialty with fish keeping. I have, in the last year, begun with reef keeping. Um, like I said with the reading and talking to people I have spent too much time with this stuff guys um, saltwater tanks every time I go to my local fish stores I usually end up standing there for 45 minutes to an hour just talking to people talking to the employees there just getting as much information as I can on how to keep my tank running better and I know you guys can't see this from this video because the lights just shut off but the tank is looking really good um, I'm getting some good coral growth, but um, yeah, um, not exactly. I don't consider myself an expert in any way on salt water or planted tanks. I am learning with both of them, so I mean, I, I consider myself better with salt water and reef tanks because I focus more of my attention on salt water tanks and cichlid tanks than compared to planted tanks. But uh, planted or uh, cichlid tanks, sorry, I do consider myself. Um, well knowledge, well rounded with cichlids. Um, I've read so much, talked to so many different people, worked with so many different people on how to take care of them properly and how to breed them and what really they need to survive and be in a healthy environment. So yeah, that, that's about it. I mean, I've worked with everything. I've had the opportunity to have every, every type of tank you can. Um, Although, like I said, I have more experience with my salt water just because of what I've read and what I've begun starting, what I've be, begun doing. So, but cichlids definitely, cichlids and oddball freshwater fish is what they're considered. Large fish like arwanas and catfish and large catfish and large e freshwater eels. I've done a lot with them as well. So, freshwater cichlids and odd, oddballs are definitely what I specialize in. I guess you could say. But I have gained a wealth of knowledge into the saltwater hobby as well. So, if you guys have any questions or comments, uh, ask me, especially with cichlids. I can almost promise or guarantee you that I will have a definite answer on cichlids and um, reef tanks too. I'm I'm still I'm still reading, keeping up with any new information that's coming out, keeping up with the new technologies that are coming out to better enhance your reef. So, it might, may not be as confident with the reef and saltwater tanks, but I do have a lot of information. So, if you guys have any questions or concerns about either cichlids or freshwater or cichlids or saltwater reef tanks, guys, ask me. I, I know um, because I'm young, a lot of people um, underestimate the knowledge of the youth. Um, but I have spent way too much time with this stuff, guys, and. Uh, I'm not going to lie, I'm not exaggerating here, I do know a lot about this, this hobby, and uh, I really do truly enjoy it, so if you guys have any questions about your tanks or about setting up a tank, um, just ask me guys, I've done a lot with this hobby, and I, I know what I'm doing, and um, I don't want to come off as trying to 
act like I know everything. I don't, I'm not gonna lie. But I do know <coughs> an extremely um, large amount about this hobby, and I really do enjoy it, and I take it very seriously. And uh, really do love the hobby, guys. But um, if, you have, if you guys have any questions on that kind of stuff, um, ask me. I'll do what I can. I'll answer it to the best of my abilities. Um, but like I said, not the best with planted tanks. I've been doing more and more research because I'm starting to get more interested in it. But saltwater re or saltwater reefs and sick freshwater cichlid tanks are definitely where my, my most of my information is. So if you guys have any questions about either one of those, feel free to ask me. Um, like I said, um, I've worked with a lot of people. Um, like I said, the serious cichlid business. Um, I'll try to find their ad in their or the their article in their newspaper. I don't know if I doubt I'll be able to find it, but if I do, I'll post a link. But uh, they did show me the actual printout of the newspaper. They were on the front page of a local newspaper for just how great their business was, how successful it was, and stuff. So I did work with them, and I, they that that family taught me so much about this hobby. And um, so, if you guys have any questions for me, I will answer them to the best of my abilities. And um, I'll try to convey as much information that I have learned onto you so we can all have a better time and experience with this awesome, amazing hobby. So thank you guys for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Oh, and uh, ask me any questions if you got them, guys. <laughs>